Yeah. Good afternoon, children. So today we are going to deal with a grammar topic that is article. So before that, I want everybody to mute themselves. Please mute yourself. Ma'am, I will already mute, ma'am. Will... Oh, you're not on mute. Oh, now you have muted. Please mute yourself, everybody, so that there won't be any disturbance in the class. Okay. So today we are going to deal with articles. So what are articles? And, and when they are used, let us know. Okay. Then quickly start the class. Oh. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Happy Pongal Day. Good afternoon, ma'am. Happy Pongal, ma'am. Okay, children. Happy Pongal Day. Now I will go to the Now listen. Articles A, an, and the. A, an, and the are called as articles. So before that, you should know. How many alphabets are there in English language? Can anybody tell me how many alphabets are there in English language? 26. Very good. 26, ma'am. 26, ma'am. 26, ma'am. Go then mute yourself. As soon as you answer the question, you have to mute yourself. Okay, there are 26 alphabets in English language and out of 26 alphabets, there are 5 vowels and the remaining 21 are called as consonants. You know this. Out of 26 alphabets, 5 alphabets are called as vowels. So what are they? A. A, B, I, I, O, U, M, O, U, L, O, U, M, O, U, and the remaining So five alphabets are called as vowels, and the remaining 21 alphabets are called as consonants. So what are the remaining alphabets? B, C, D, e, F, G, H, D, K, L, M, N, T, e, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, Z. So these 21 alphabets, they are called as consonants. And A, E, I, O, U are called as vowels. This you know. Okay? Now, let us see. And the remaining alphabets are these. These are called as consonants. So, 5 plus 21. So, total 26 alphabets. Okay? So, why I am explaining is this. Uh, before learning articles, you should know how many vowels and how many consonants are there and what are they. Okay? Now, A, and, and the are called as articles. Children, try to remember. These are called as articles. A, and, the. Now, these articles are used for nouns. You know what is a noun? A, and, the. A noun is Naming word. Yes. Yes? What is a noun? Name, perfect place, and thing. Very good. Very good. Name, perfect place. Name, 
I hope you understood this. Now coming to the, where and when to use the. The is used to refer to a specific or a particular noun. If you are referring to a particular thing or a particular noun, particular object or a particular person, thing, animal, then you should use the before that noun. The is used with the singular and plural. So the is used, it goes with both singular and plural noun. Whereas a and an, they go only with singular nouns. Then the is used when we use the same noun second time. Children, try to understand here this. The sun, the dog, the moon. Teddy Varshini, will you stop? Now, the is also used when the noun is repeated. When the noun is introduced and repeated second time. That time, you have to use the before the noun. I will explain to you. Now, here you see. The sun. That means you are talking about sun. Sun is only one. We are particularly talking about the sun. When it is only one, in the whole universe, there is only one sun. So, we need to use the. Similarly, the moon. And the moon. The because it is plural. Plural noun. The kids. The movie. So they are plural. So the goes with plural. Noun. Plural singular. Look here. A and an are used before a person or thing. It is unknown or mentioning for the first time. Listen, children, try to understand this. See, example, you see, when you are introduced a thing or a person for the first time, then you should use A before that now. For example, here you see, I planted a tree. Okay? That means you are introducing this noun. Tree is a noun. You are introducing this tree for the first time. First time you are talking about the tree. So that's why you have to use A before the noun. So I, I planted A in my garden last year. Okay. Now again the sentence is continuing. Dash tree has not grown big. That means already we talked about this tree. Already I have introduced this noun to you. So that's why. Again, in the second I, sentence, you should not I, write a tree has a wow. You should write the. Why? Because already this wow. is introduced. When it is introduced, wow. you have to use a or a. Because the tree is starting with consonant yes. letter, you have to use a. And again, this tree is introduced here that for the second time you are writing, that's why you need to use the. Okay, I planted a tree in my garden last year. The tree has now grown big. Okay, when the noun is introduced for the second time, that time you need to use the before the noun. I hope you understood, children. Similarly, I'll give you some more examples. Yesterday, I watched Dash and Okay, so again, you are using this noun for the second time. When you are using this noun for the second time, that time you need to use the before the noun. When you are using for the first time, you should use a. And why a? Because movie is starting with m. That is a consonant. So that's why you need to use a. Yesterday, I watched a movie. The movie was very funny. And similarly, there is dash book on the table. Why A? Because this noun book is starting with And again, you are using this noun for the second time. 
That's why you need to use the before this now. There is a book on the table. The book is very heavy. Children, you try to understand the usage of a, an, and the. A, an, and the are called as articles. So let us do one exercise. Fill in the blanks with a, an, and the. Now, do you have dash pencil? So what you have to write? A pencil. Why? Because the pencil noun is starting with consonant letter that is P. So that's why you need to write A. Now you are introducing this noun for the second time. When you are introducing the noun for the second time, then you need to write the before the noun. Children, these are the basic rules I'm explaining to you. Okay, when you go to higher classes, there are some more rules for using these articles. Later you will learn. Okay, now this is enough for you. Now, do you have, again, you should not write a pencil. You should write, do you have the pencil? Because you are talking about that particular pencil. You are talking about the specific pencil which Ravi gave you. So you are not talking about any other pencil. You are talking about the pencil which Ravi gave you. So when you are talking about a specific noun, then you need to use the before the noun. And also, when a noun is introduced for the second time, then also you need to use the before the noun. Children, concentrate. Again, I am taking up this example. So you have dash. Who is that? Who is that disturbing the class? Please mute yourself, all of you. Do you have dash pencil? A pencil. Do you have dash pencil which Ravi gave you? So here we need to use the. Just now I have explained you this. And similarly, we'll go to another <laughs> example. I want my dash apartment. So this apartment now is starting with A. A is a vowel. So what you need to write before that, when a noun is starting with a vowel sound or a vowel letter, and so here, my an apartment. But when the when the same repeated, or when you are talking about the particular noun, then you have to use. I want to dash apartment that we visited yesterday. So we are not talking about any other apartment in general. We are talking about the apartment we visited yesterday. About that particular apartment. Okay, here you see. This apartment noun is repeated for the second time. And also we are talking about mm -hmm. specific mm -hmm. so That's why we need to see before this noun. Please mute yourself. Siri Varshini, stop those gestures. Next. Uh, so this is the assignment I'll be giving to you. You have to read it afterwards. Okay? This one you write in your class. Children, did you understand whatever I have explained it to you? Children, did you understand? Yes, ma'am. When yes, have to use me. A, when you have to use Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. Then mute yes, ma'am. Let us go this exercise. Yes, ma'am. We will do it. Yes, Thank you. Whether you have understood it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now, please apply yes, A, and, or the. So, CY is dash intelligent. What we should write here? Yes, Letter. 
I I I is a bubble. What did I before a bubble sound or a bubble letter? J. Tell me. I can student understand. An. An. Very good. An. Yes. An. So she is an intelligent person because you see this adjective is starting with I, which is a verb. Okay. Now next, she is dash singer. Yes, Iyani. What will she, you write here? She is a singer. A singer. A singer. Yeah. Very good. Very yes, good. A singer. Ah, uh, why? Because I, you see this. Ah, yes. uh, with the uh, what it is starting with a yeah. vowel or a consonant? It is starting with a consonant. Consonant. That's why you should consonant. write. Consonant. Consonant, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. Ma'am. A is the singer. Mary uh, is the Mary yeah. is dash umbrella on dash stall. Mary is dash. an umbrella. Very good. Mary is an umbrella on the stall. Mary is an umbrella. Mary is an umbrella. Oh, Mary is an umbrella. Mary is an umbrella. Mary is an umbrella. Because this mm. noun is starting with U. U is a vowel. So before a vowel sound, you need to write. Yeah. 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 And this is a call. Yes, sir. So that's why you write. So there is an umbrella. Yes, sir. 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 When I explaining, you mute yourself. I. Otherwise, you will not uh, understand. W. Parents, why do you repeat your words? <laughs> Next one. I read dash book yesterday. Dash book was very interesting. <laughs> Yes. Now tell me. I read. I read. I read. I read. I read a book. I read a book. Okay. Okay. I read a book. I read a book yesterday. Okay. Now stop. I read a book yesterday. 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 Now I have muted you all because you are not listening. Now listen. I read dash book yesterday. Dash book was very interesting. So here you can see book. Book is a noun and it is starting with a consonant letter B. So that's why you need to write A. I read a book yesterday, and just now I have explained you the rules as to how you have to write the. So this noun is repeated once again. When a noun is repeated once again, then you need to write the before that noun. See, already this noun is introduced for the first time. So again, it is. It, I mean, uh, appeared for the second time. So you have to write the before this now. I read a book yesterday. The book was very interesting. Okay. Now, uh, just a minute. Yes. Now tell me. He is dash educated person. So, what should you write here? Uh, uh, educated. And educated. Uh, you, you see, with what letter it is, is starting with? An educated person. person. Yes, it's a vowel. It's it's starting with the vowel. So, you have to write uh, an. So, he is an educated. Okay. I saw Dash movie last night. So, what is that you need to write here? Da. Okay. Yes, yes. Very good. Da. Very good. I saw a movie last night. Next. I ate dash apple. 
When a noun is repeated once again, you need to write the before that noun. So the apple now. was sweet. Yes, children, is it clear for you? When you should use yes, ma'am. When you should use and yes, ma'am. So yes, there are the basic rules, ma'am. Basic rules I have explained to you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I hope you understood this. Mm -hmm. 